well. All right, so in this video, we are going to see about the algorithm FCFS, right? I'm sorry. The FCFS algorithm is basically the first come, first serve. First come, first serve. Right, so as the name says that any process that came first will execute first, right? And the criteria of this algorithm is uh, arrival time. The arrival time is uh, suppose the process of job is in new state, right? And new state to ready state. So you might know about the state diagram of operating system. So from new state to ready state, so it is known as the arrival time, right? And the mode on this algorithm works on is non preemption mode. So, usually there are two modes are available preemption mode and non preemption mode. So, non preemption mode means if, uh, if any process starts executing, so it will execute complete, completely, right? And in preemption mode, so maybe there will be context switching and there are lots of switching are available. So, that's why they um, the, the that kind of modes is known as preemption mode right so now we look at the problem all right so suppose this is a problem right so there is process is given and the arrival time is given and the bus time is given so how to basically they ask in question that the average time of average turnaround time or average waiting time right so how to solve this kind of you have to prepare a gantt chart so to prepare a gantt chart do this you suppose start from zero so at zero the process p1 will be available and the p1 will be executed completely and the bus time of p1 is going to be four and at four the process p2 p3 p4 all the process is going to be available here right so so p2 will execute and p2 is a the bus time is three, three unit, so it will be seven, and the P3 will be skewed, and the bus time is one unit, which is going to be eight, and the P4 is there, bus time is two, then will be 10, right? So we have zero, four, seven, eight, ten, 10. And on the basis of the Gantt chart, you can write the completion time, right? The completion time is going to be zero, four, Seven. I'm sorry. The completion time is going to be four, seven for process process P two for process P three is going to be eight, and for process P four it's going to be ten. Right. So with the help of completion time, you can calculate the turnaround time. The turnaround time is is the completion time minus the arrival time. Right. Arrival time. So the completion time minus arrival time is going to be four. Seven minus one is going to be six. Eight minus two is going to be six, and ten minus three is going to be seven. Right? Then we have here. Uh, around time, and then we have the waiting time. Right? Waiting time. So, waiting time is the turnaround time minus the bus time, right? Sorry. So, if you look at that, 4 minus 4 is going to be 0, 6 minus 3 is going to be 3, 6 minus 1 is going to be 5, and then 7 minus 2 is going to be 5, right? So, now you have to calculate the average turnaround time. So, T, A, T average V is equal to. 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 7, which is 19 plus 4, divided by 4. So it will be 19, 23 by 4, right? And the average waiting time is going to be 0 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5 by 4, which will going to give you. 5, 10, 13 by 4, right? So that's how you can calculate this. But the problem with this kind of algorithm is, uh, you know, 
this problem is known as Conway effect, actually. Conway effect. So this problem is actually suppose a process has P1 and P2, there are two process that are with the So this process has the first time 200 units, and this has only two units. So only 20 units. So this will take lots of time and this has to be it a lot. So you can think of this problem as a suppose there is any leader is going right. So if leader is crossing the city or area, so the roads are going to be blocked, right? All the roads are going to be blocked. So that's and uh, you can think of this problem as as it is, right? So this is Conway effect, and the Conway effect can be solved with the help of short job first uh, algorithm, which is next algorithm, right? So we will see it in the next video. Thanks for watching.